Welcome back in. Well, as you guys can see, we are joined by some special guests here at the studio, and we're blessed to have them as our first guest of the new year. It's only right we start off 2023 with a bang, right? So if you guys pay attention to soccer, clearly our guests need no introduction, but for everyone else, it gives me great honor to introduce you guys to the defending WPSL champions, the California Storm. And representing the Storm, our captain, Elizabeth Hutchinson, right here. And uh, also on this side, you know her as head coach, Jamie Lavoy. Thank you guys. Happy New Year to you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Have a great New Year so far? Yes, oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Perfect. Well, <laughs> while we're talking New Year and wonderful things, uh, you guys got some wonderful news recently that you guys will be headed into the USL and your inaugural season is coming up. Can you just describe the process and just how exciting it was when you guys found out that news? We're very excited. Um, we, uh, you know, put our application in and everything, and um, and it's going to be a brand new league uh, in California. So they're already established on the East Coast, but they haven't done anything on the on the West Coast. So we're really thrilled with what USL has done on the men's side, and we're excited to bring that um, to California. Good deal. And, you know, Elizabeth, for someone like you, who's obviously a captain, you're one of the, the leaders out there, per se. Uh, do you feel a certain level of uh, pressure or uh, anxiety or just excitement going into this uh, next chapter? It's a lot of excitement. I mean, Sacramento has always been a hub for girls soccer. And to have us now entering this new league, it's just, you know, eliminating those boundaries from us being able to play on a more professional, more serious level. So I'm stoked for the season. You know, Jamie, I want to focus on something that she just said, Elizabeth just said right there about Sacramento being a hub for women's soccer. And I've heard more and more that we learn about the development of soccer here in mm -hmm. Northern California, how much talent is just in this region. And you've been scouting talent and coaching talent in this region for a very long time. Can mm -hmm. you kind of build off of what Elizabeth was just saying about just the talent here? The talent in Sacramento is incredible. Uh, I mean, it goes for... For many, many years, we've had players, you know, come through the professional ranks and women's national team ranks. And to see that, you know, with the 99 World Cup, how everything just really blew up in the United States. Now there's just incredible clubs um, with, you know, Davis Legacy and San Juan and Plaza United and all these other big clubs that have really uh, produced some phenomenal athletes. And the main thing is we need a place to play. We need to give them that platform. So that's been a real driving force for me personally to try to create more opportunities for women and girls. So building off that, Elizabeth, is, is the expectation for the USL now for the next step. Usually when teams come in, they take some time to get acclimated. But for a, a team like the California Storm that has so much success coming off of the championship you guys are coming off of, is there like a determination to hit the ground running? We're, we're going to be winning right away day one. Oh, definitely. I think what sets our team apart is our level of uh, competitiveness. I mean, and the girls are just excited to play every time we get to go out and train or play games. So I think there's, you know, not a lot of pressure to <laughs> maybe perform. We're just going to go out there and do what we do best, which is compete. Now, Matt referenced this, and I referenced it earlier in your guys' introduction, but being WPSL champions, and for those who don't know, that's the Women Premier Soccer League uh, champion. I understand you're wearing your championship <laughs> ring, right? Yes, I am. You got, that is some bling right about there. So there you go. Great, great close up. Whoa, put your sunglasses on. It's shiny. Uh, but you know, obviously winning any kind of championship on any level is not easy at all. What did it take in order to win this? And, uh, you know, Coach Lavoie, how proud of you and what does this just say about the program of that? It's absolutely incredible. Um, my personal goal for the year was to win regionals. So I kept telling the girls, okay, we made it, you know, we won regionals. Okay, now anything else is gravy. And then they won the, you know, the semifinal and then they won the championship and it just, they kept going. Um, and I, I felt like it was because it was such a, a good atmosphere that they love each other and they work hard for each other and um, really uplift each other that they were able to be so successful. But there was so much work. I mean, with Chris, you know, he put so much into our team and Jenny, our goalie coach and everybody that's involved behind the scenes, uh, it all came together to make it a successful season. <laughs> Elizabeth, this is a question I would normally ask the head coach, but being the captain, you are just as uh, responsible for the roster in a lot of ways as, as what they do. And, and But from the on the field perspective, so 
with this roster, how much of this championship team is returning and, and, and coming back and will be a part of the inaugural uh, USL season? I can confidently say we have, I mean, at least 95 to 100 percent returning. Wow. So Amazing. I think the USL has something to look out for because it's the same squad that's going to come, you know, running through this season for the first uh, year. I, I love the confidence there. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, Jeff. As we wrap this up, um, you know, I know that obviously you guys are in the USL now, but when does your season start and where can people get tickets for that? So we're um, going to be getting our schedules uh, this month and we're already selling season passes online. You can get it at calstormsoccer.com uh, is where you can buy those. And uh, both teams will be playing in May through the end of um, July, early August. And before we wrap up, too, I want to mention one thing. Uh, the California Storm logo, you talked about it being more recognizable among soccer circles, but also it's very recognizable in the community because of all the community events that you guys mm. do. You were listing off just this laundry list of the amount of things <laughs> that this club does uh, as a part of the community. So can you share some of what that community active, uh, activities are? Yeah, we do. Um, once a month, we put on free soccer clinics for kids with disabilities, and that's at the Davis Legacy Complex. Um, we uh, do it on a Sunday for uh, two hours. And then we also do uh, an event that's called Gear Up, and where 100 kids get to go shopping on extremely discounted Puma stuff so they can get, you know, 100 something dollar cleats for, you know, $10. You know, wow. um, and they just get to go and pick out whatever they want. The, you know, adults don't shop with them, they pick what, what really pulls to them. Amazing. That is absolutely amazing. That is a, a good note to end on here, too. <laughs> now, we wrap up every interview. I go around and I ask if you could say one word to describe the California Storm brand. So uh, we'll start off uh, with you, Coach. Uh, one word. Special. Empowering. Mm. Ooh, empowering. <laughs> well, if you want to check out the special and empowering team, California Storm, like Coach Lavoy said, the schedule will be dropping soon. Be sure to visit their website for information on tickets and all that other good stuff. It is definitely worth the price of admission. Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy New Year to you guys and good luck this season. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>